Hi, my name is Mary. I've just finished my degree in anthropology and sociology here in London, and I'm leaving in October uh, to Palestine as a volunteer for CATFA. We're four volunteers. We'll be staying in Abu Dis in the West Bank for three months and we'll be working alongside the community centre uh, and schools and universities uh, to build stronger relationships between Palestine and Britain. It's a unique opportunity for young people like us who believe in human rights um, and this way we can give our support to the Palestinian community and try to improve the situation. Hello, my name is Horace Yakubi. I have just graduated uh, from Leeds University in Philosophy and Economics. I, um, I got involved in CADFA um, fairly recently, um, which is a, um, a project which I'm local to in Camden. Um, I am going to a visit in uh, Palestine, uh, which is a, um, a three-month voluntary project which I'm doing in Abu Dis. I think um, it's, one of, it's a very important thing, um, being able to first-hand um, understand and talk to people about the situations that are going on in Palestine. When you talk to the average person in London about Palestine, people find it difficult to know what to think about the issues there because it's very complicated, obviously. And um, I really think that with more exposure, um, it's um, important that people just talk about it more and then um, things can actually change and hopefully get better in the future for um, just human rights for people that live in Palestine. And I think that's what we're all really aiming towards and hope that we can achieve. Hi, my name is Musa Fani. I'm from Abu Dis. I used to be the volunteer coordinator for CADVA for two years. If you are a volunteer in Palestine, you're going to learn so much about the Palestinian situation and the Palestinian life. Lots about language and heritage and traditions and also human rights and the Palestinian life and under the occupation. You can help the Palestinian kids and the Palestinian students to improve their language and to teach them more about English language and about the European culture and lots about life and human rights. Hi, my name is Zainab and I travelled to Abadis with CADFA earlier this year as an EVS volunteer. Um, spent three months working in the schools and the local community. I had an incredible three months um, and I made some great friends who I'm still in touch with um, and, and something I really learned was that you have to be in a situation to, to get a sense of it, to understand it. It's really worthwhile to be on the ground and to talk to, to real people who are living the situation day to day before you can really form an idea of what's happening. Um, and I use that now when I, when I talk to friends, to new people I meet, I tell them about my time in Palestine, I tell them what I experienced. Um, and I feel in that way we're spreading a more realistic picture to more people. I think the, the, the biggest noticeable way that we make a difference is it is by bringing an international presence in. So in the case of within the schools that we worked in, we really, we really expanded the world of these children um, and made them realise that there are people outside who are interested in how their lives are. And they were also very excited to hear about what life was like in the UK. Um, with the older students, the university students and some of the, the adult classes that we did, um, I think the, the biggest feeling I got from them was that they wanted us to be their voice abroad. They said, you know, you've now been here and lived side by side with us. Um, you know what it's really like, so they wanted us to go home and tell other people about the situation. Hi, I'm Claudia. I was in Palestine for three months with Kefa. We felt incredibly welcomed. People appreciated so much that we were there and that we wanted to to really stay there for a long time and understand what it was like for them. I learned so much about, about generosity and about courage. Um, I, was, I was so in awe of the people there and inspired by them. Children would always run up and they'd remember our names, so they'd run down the street and wave and shout hi. And I felt part of the community and I felt like they really welcomed us and, and were incredibly kind and, and wonderful. But they wanted to help us. They wanted to show us how they lived and they wanted us to be able to go away and communicate that to other people. I think it's, it's, it's really important for the project to continue and for more people to go. Uh, I, think it's, I think it's important for people to, to experience the situation for themselves and to understand that. 